Welcome to LinuxMD.com. In this session, you're going to see about how to set up a Node.js application for protection on Ubuntu section 5.04. Node.js is an open source JavaScript runtime environment for easy building server side and network applications. The platform runs on Linux, Mac OS, FreeBSD, and Windows. Node.js application can be run on the command line, but now we are going to focus on running them as a service so that they will automatically restart on reboot or failure now i'm going to install the node source for that first you need to install the repository for that curl space hyphen s l space the following link space hyphen o space and i'm going to specify the name for the file is node source underscore setup dot sh and press enter now the repository has been get downloaded now for running the uh, script for that command bash and the name of the script file is node source underscore setup dot sh and press enter Now it has started to install the repository for installing node source. Now the repository has been get added. Now for installing the node.js for that command aptfn git install node.js and press enter The Node.js package has been get installed. Now create a code file for that command nano and the name of the file is hello.js and press enter and paste the following code inside the file. After pasting the following code, now save the file. Now give the executable permission to the particular file for that command chmod plus x dot slash and the name of the file and press enter and for running the file for that command dot slash and the name of the file hello dot js and press enter here you can able to see the server has been get started for checking the output for that open another one terminal and login as root for testing for that curl space the following link and the port number 8080 and press enter here you can able to see the output of the current executable file now i'm going to install the pm2 for that npm install hyphen g pm2 and press enter the pm2 package has been get installed now for managing the application by using the pm2 for that first start the service by using the source file hello.js for that command pm2 space start and the name of the file is hello.js and press enter here you can able to see it has been get added to the application of pm2 process and here you can able to see the output at this time 
for the starting of the application now for starting up the uh, pm2 service for that command pm2 startup system b and press enter now the pm2 service has been get started now for checking the status of the pm2 for that command system ctl status pm2 and press enter here you can able to see the status of the pm2 and it is active and running now for setting the reverse proxy server by using the nginx for that first you need to install the nginx package for that command aptfn get install nginx and press enter The Nginx package has been get installed. Now open the configuration file of the Nginx and make the following changes for that command then etc nginx site siphon available default and press enter and here give you a domain name and paste the following code here now below the location add another one configuration after adding the configuration now save the file now for testing the syntax error of the nginx for that command and nginx space hyphen t and press enter here you can able to see the syntax is working and the test is successful now by using the ufw now allow the nginx service in the firewall for that command ufw allow nginx full and press enter now it has been get added to the firewall the nginx service now by using the ip tables permit the traffic to nginx by using the following command for that ip tables hyphen i input hyphen p tcp hyphen m tcp hyphen hyphen d port et hyphen j accept and press enter now it has been get added now for saving the ip tables for that command ip tables hyphen yes and press enter now it has been get accepted and the file has been get saved now the configuration has been get completed in this session i have seen about how to set up node.js application for protection on ubuntu section 104 thank you for watching